Welcome to World Box. Today we have another spicy, spicy video for you. And by we, I mean me. I have another spicy video for you. There's no one else. It's just me here. Okay, so we're gonna do two kingdoms. One with all the good traits and one with all the bad traits. And then we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see how much the traits really affect them. So I tried this once already and I wanted to do dwarves versus dwarves initially because I feel like it'd be a good opportunity to give them some screen time since they're just fighting themselves. What happened was one kingdom just immediately took over the other one and just made it part of their kingdom because when you give someone so much diplomacy through all of the good traits they just instantly ally with the weaker colony so it was pretty much over in like a minute so we're gonna have to do two different races so that they can't join each other like that at least not in the same way we are still gonna have dwarves though we're gonna give the dwarves all the good traits let's go 50 up here and we'll give i think the orcs the bad traits now let's do elves. The orcs come with some good traits, whereas the elves, starting traits are kind of neutral. Weightless, who cares, you know? Okay, let's begin. These are all the bad traits. We got tiny, weak, stupid, skin burns, one-eyed, crippled, ugly, fat, slow, gluttonous, deceitful, unlucky, short-sighted, paranoid, and greedy. I kind of took the liberty to be a little bit specific about what I counted as a bad trait because I don't want to give everyone like the zombie trait. It is a bad trait, but it also completely changes what happens. Same with all these other infection ones, um, curses, that sort of thing. I skipped over those. And then all these crazy boxes ones that totally change things I left those out as well because even though Titan is technically a good trait I ain't giving it to the good team because that makes them like have eight times health and all this crazy stuff okay so the elves now have all the bad traits let's go ahead and give the dwarves up here the good traits again being a little specific about what I count healing aura minor they already have that veteran blessed let's do wise king slayer mage slayer dragon slayer giant Skip Immortal, too strong. Genius, strong, tough. Golden Tooth, regeneration, attractive, fast. Uh, skip all the immunities and stuff. Eagle-eyed, lucky, immune, agile, and ambitious and honest. So there we go. They've got all the good traits. Kind of funny to see giant dwarves. Let's go ahead and heal them too, since they are missing health. And there we go. Let's start us off. We got Dora over here. They have 60 health. <laughs> oh, they're so weak and they're so tiny. The dwarves are like, who's small now? Also, what's this? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and set up pretty much everything here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we're really just watching to see how much the traits affect them in the beginning here, which will then affect obviously like who wins. The elves do repopulate fairly fast by default. It's kind of like a hidden trait for them. And they also have long lifespans. So that even though they have all these bad traits, those two things will help them just because they're elves. So that should balance it a teensy bit. And then dwarves, I think they have shorter lifespans than elves. Um, and they tend Tend to repopulate kind of slow so we're gonna see just how much help the dwarves actually need to win something and how much bad luck and bad everything it would take for the elves to actually lose to the dwarves let's go ahead and name them cool guys let's name them losers i love the dwarves obviously i love the dwarves i think they're great i really want to see them get a win but it's almost a more interesting outcome if the people with all the bad traits win you know i personally win either way this goes whether the dwarves win i'll be super happy about that if the elves win it will definitely be very interesting to see and also really sad for the dwarves that they couldn't win even with almost every good trait so i'm hoping that they can pull through already i'm seeing a pretty big difference here in populations without traits the elves would definitely be out populating the dwarves by now but the dwarves are seemingly populating faster than the elves so so far so good now since in this game when a kid is born they don't inherit all the good traits, just some of them. The next generation down of dwarves is not going to be as strong as the first. So as the game goes on, the dwarves will start losing more and more of their good traits. The dwarves kind of got to get a really good lead early on to win this thing because... As time goes on, the elves will just get more and more strong, or rather, more and more not weak. So it's about how strong the dwarves can start out, because right now they have everything. They got good land, they got all the good traits. The dwarves have started to move downwards, elves are moving upwards. You can tell 
a lot of the bad traits are still plaguing the next generation down. They're still ugly and gluttonous. The elves do have a little more land here. I didn't really think about that. The dwarves do have access to a lot of land, but it involves them like going through the mountains. So we'll see if they do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The dwarves just attacked this little village. Ooh, okay. That was a big move. Wow, they're down to 100. That's really what they need to do is they need to attack early. I mean, I don't want it to be over this fast. Look at these tiny kids. Okay, the dwarves are leaving. Yikes. They could have easily just wiped out the whole thing. Okay, so 265 to 85. That was huge because the elves were gaining on them pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, they definitely allied. Look at them. There's dwarves hanging out on the land. Keeping an eye on them. So now we're probably getting into the part of the game where the elves probably have shed most of the traits. Looks like not quite. This person still has four bad traits. How's the next generation down though? This kid's got tough and ugly so we're getting there the dwarves are up by so much right now i think i think they've got this in the bag but if they take too long then it will be over because a lot of their traits give them a lot of diplomacy which i do think makes them like ally more often than declare war so i mean i don't know that might actually hurt them in the long run because really what they need is just to be super aggressive. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, you silly dwarves. I'm surprised so many of them still have good traits though. There's actually the people from the first generation are 73 now. So they still have all these good traits, but the generation with all the good traits is going to die off here pretty soon. Look at that. This guy's got attractive. They're getting good traits over here now. The dwarves are expanding closer and closer. So hopefully if they keep moving this way, they'll feel the need to declare war again. They've got some big armies though. They also, ooh, look at that. They went around over here. They got a village on this little peninsula. And the only place that can go is downwards into the elves. What the? They split into two? Was there a rebellion? Yeah, I think there was. Look at that. The elf kingdom has been divided. That's also something that comes out of the bad traits is I think like loyalty is a stat or something like that. I forget what it's called. But yeah, it makes you, it makes them not get along with each other as well. So look at that. They split up and they're like fighting. Yikes. That's like the worst thing that could have happened. This colony, the losers are very much spreading out, which is good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are they here just for fun? What's going on? Oh, they're attacking the losers. Look, at they're allied with this rebellion kingdom, but they're wiping out the other one. That is a very interesting development. That was a huge army. That was like so many people. I thought it was going to be over. It still might be, but look at this. <laughs> Jeez. Down to 106. What are they here? 700? Oh, man. Wow, they're just demolishing them so quickly. My, my, my. Okay, the central area is gone. We got a bunch of small kingdoms. Okay, this is part of this one. This is a completely new one. And then we still we still have some losers down here. Well, we got to go until the elves are completely gone, of course, because this kingdom is full of people that originally were part of the losers kingdom. But it's very interesting. The dwarves are working so fast. The traits make such a big difference. Like, obviously we knew that, but it's like crazy to see how much of a difference the traits make. Yeah, look, they're level 24 culture, and the elves are only at 15. Like, jeez, look at all this stuff they've got already. Oh, look at that. They're coming all the way down here to wipe them out. Is this losers? Okay, losers kingdom is gone, officially. So they've got Ecephora of Fire, uh, Ahari Keepers. So this is a decent sized kingdom, 160. They're nice and spread out, so they, they all have a lot of land, so... If they can go a little while without being... If the dwarves don't declare war on them anytime soon, they could, you know, expand in this whole region. But look at this. Holy smokes. 1,000? And they have all this land left still. Well, this ain't the best land, but they've got all this land over here to get into. They also could eventually come out here to the island. They've got boats for it. That'd be kind of cool. Dang. It's really nice to see the dwarves being so aggressive. It's kind of refreshing. I, I know obviously it's because we gave them all the good traits, but still, it's kind of nice to see. I would like to see them someday get a little bit of a buff so that they can actually keep up without needing 15 plus good traits. Wouldn't that be nice? It's always funny in moments like this when like the elves are the ones that declare war, you know, like the elves declare war on the dwarves and the dwarves just wipe them out immediately. Like I've seen that happen before where the smaller kingdom declares war and then it gets killed because of it. The dwarves are still out here making new villages. Oh, whoa, whoa, we had a split happen. Okay, what a weird split too. It split like right in half population wise. Oh. If the dwarves are kept busy by their own, like, civil war, the elves are not expanding very quickly, but they are expanding. 
It makes me think there's a little bit of a war going on between kingdoms because of how slow they're expanding. I don't know, I gotta keep a better eye on that. It does seem like they're under some sort of conflict. Oh yeah, look at that. The dwarves are attacking! And it's the cool guys. Okay, the elves are actually holding their defenses pretty strong. Now they're up to 400. You know what? They're doing okay. It's still a lot. If the cool guys up here decide to send an army in, it's over. But I think a lot of their armies were weakened by the little dwarf conflict, which looks like it's over now. Looks like they're all getting along, but it still is a divided kingdom now. Whoa, another one. They're splitting up. Dang, okay. So now they're divided into three kingdoms. Kind of a small one, but still. But yeah, so at this point, since all the traits we started them with are gone, now it's a matter of can the dwarves win with this crazy lead that they have? Or are they just so weak that they can't even win, even with that big of a head start? It's a little bit sad to watch. Someone's got to take this island out here. This would be a game changer. Oh, whoa, the miners over here just took over a whole chunk of cool guys. And they sent a little village down here. Look at that. Across the whole map. They're now the biggest kingdom. Look at that. This Acephora of Fire is like gaining on cool guys now. Still a little conflict going on down here, looks like. Oh, whoa. We got a whole new kingdom down here. Dang, everyone's splitting up like that. Earth, fire? Huh, what's going on here? Okay, this is getting pretty big. Dwarves do own most of the map still. So I think the dwarves are still doing really well. They have about 2,000 population total between these three. Whereas the elves have just over a thousand. The elf kids are out here punching this tent. Okay, the dwarves took over this island. That's kind of random. Why this tiny island and not this gigantic continent over here? I don't know. Looks like they've taken over pretty much all the good land on this upper region. You can tell they don't really care to live in the desert. They're just hanging out on the edge. Honestly, same. Oh, this village is getting beaten up down here. Good for them. Well, not good for them, but good for the dwarves for making a move okay i think at this point i think i'm gonna turn rebellions off we've gotten the traits out the way so we're not really watching the traits anymore we're just seeing what happens from now on so we want them to be able to combine each other but i don't like that it's they just keep splitting off more and more it's gonna go on forever so no more rebellions it looks like the fire kingdom has now been pushed down here because this kingdom was part of them but earth took them over that might be a good thing honestly elf together strong the cool guys have now taken this tiny island as well guys there's a whole continent over here oh nice the dwarves take it nice work okay so total populations elves altogether have just under 2000 and the dwarves altogether have about 3,000. So they're still up by about a thousand, but the elves are catching up. Okay, something's getting wiped out down here, surprisingly. It looks like the dwarves are down here. Just a few of them left, about to get wiped out. Did they get dropped off by a boat or did they come around? Oh, it looks like they got dropped off from a boat. They almost killed that whole village over here. They just missed like three buildings. Oh, are they bringing more? You bringing more? No, just coming to check it out. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this village got destroyed. Nice. I feel like the dwarves are starting to make moves. The elves are getting pushed further and further down. Okay, it looks like both these kingdoms have now landed on the other continent, so that's good for them. The keepers are out here doing a lot of damage to this kingdom. Like, this kingdom, the whole bottom half has been destroyed. If they could just take out a little bit more, they might just eliminate this kingdom altogether. Interesting. Oh, this is it. For this kingdom maybe if they actually go up there you know i'm starting to get a little bit worried for the dwarves honestly it's not a very good sign that one of their kingdoms getting wiped out the elves own like half of this continent out here too the dwarves do own the other half of course wait a minute how did this get destroyed bro what's happening the dwarves are falling apart look how low their population is 400 700 uh oh boys okay we got dwarves down here doing something like 10 dwarves against the entire kingdom that's not gonna go well. It's official, the elves now have more population than the dwarves. It still looks like they have less land by a little bit, but they have way more population. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The elves are taking over the island. Gosh, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> dwarves are falling apart so bad now. They were up by over a thousand population at one point. I really gave them such a huge advantage and they still can't win. I mean, granted, they have not technically lost yet, but like, look at this. The elves are just laughing at them. Yeah, the elves are pretty soon gonna have this whole continent to themselves. They're just taking out stragglers right now, it looks like. Dang, down to 400 population. Look how much army they've got in here.
The keepers over here's population has just blown up like crazy. The dwarves are really holding their line up here. They're really not letting them have it. Same with this little village over here. I think they have the mountains protecting them a bit. The elves population has blown up like crazy. They're at about 7,000 population total versus the dwarves like under 4,000. So the elves now have about double the population of the dwarves. So I think the elves win. It just hasn't happened yet so i don't want to be lame and just declare the winner like this so i'll let it run a little bit longer and see if we can get it to happen but what did we learn today you can have all the talent in the world but if you don't apply yourself it doesn't matter i'm gonna go make a sandwich real quick and when i come back i want to see some results Okay, I'm back. Looks like it's actually happening. This whole area is gone. This area is gone. Looks like the elves just swept through the middle here, which is kind of random. They're all over up here. But yeah, well, I mean, as we already knew, the elves are a lot better than the dwarves. I just thought that with such a big head start, the dwarves would be okay, but still no. But it was still interesting to see how different everything went at the beginning because of the traits like just how much more aggressive and all that the dwarves were at the beginning how much faster their population went up and then the elves had a bunch of like rebellions early on and their population grew really slow like the traits definitely make a big difference i'll probably do another random traits video soon i really enjoy doing those thanks for watching elves win dwarves lose traits make a big difference but not long term and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.